Well, howdy, partner. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to see if this cowboy can catch mice in the barn. What I have here is a very unique mousetrap. It appears to be handmade, and it almost looks more like folk art than a mouse catching device. But we're going to see if it actually works. Right here it says Ron's Better Mousetrap. So I presume someone named Ron made this. They're sayings like ye old swimming hole, all mice welcome, and the entrance that points over here. And in the front it says Free Mouse Buffet. Now this style of mouse trap is very similar to a mouse trap I've already featured on my channel. Here I have an example of the original version. This one's called the Capito. It was invented by a German named Carl Binder back in 1889. This trap's well over 100 years old and it still works at catching mice. Basically it's a series of obstacles the mouse enters right here, steps on a teeter-totter, and when it does the door closes trapping it down in this chamber. The only way out is to go up a wire tunnel, there's a one-way door, through a hole, and into this back piece. And right here, connected with the wire to the door, is a diving board. It will step on it, it will drop down, the mouse will land in a bucket of water, and the door will lift up and reset for the next victim. Now this trap works so well that it was quickly copied, especially here in America, by a company called the Automatic Trap Company. These are known as Peerless, but it's basically the same design. And Ron's Better Mouse Trap is clearly inspired by those styles. The mouse will enter right here, step on the teeter-totter, the door closes with that counterweight, is stuck in this cage. The only way out is to climb up this tube right here. There's a one-way door. It will push that open, go up to this piece, and then it will close. It can't go back out. There's a hole right here that leads to a diving board, and it has a container. This will have water, or as he calls it, ye old swimming hole. It looks like a planter's peanut container. And right here, this is the counterweight that resets the trap. When the mouse drops down, it lifts up the door, and it's ready for the next victim to go in there, step on the teeter-totter, and repeat the process. It looks like a very fun trap, especially with the cowboy. We're gonna test it out and see if it will catch mice. First, we'll test it out with our pet mice, then we'll set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch some wild mice. Okay, mouse, let's test out this free buffet. The door closes, trapping the mouse inside. Then it will climb up the one-way tunnel. And when the mouse steps on the platform inside, it resets the door, and then it will drop down in ye old swimming hole. We don't have any water in here though. Well, it looked like it worked with our pet mice, but can we catch wild mice in the barn? Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, last night there was quite a bit of mouse activity and even rat activity when we tested out Ron's Better Mouse Trap in the barn. 
and I learned a few things. The first thing I learned is this trap needs some adjustments. It's not quite sensitive enough. When one mouse goes in there, it doesn't always close. It wasn't until we had two mice step on the lever that the door dropped down and we caught them. Also, one of the mice was able to escape when it went back this way. It squeezed out the side and didn't drop in the tank. But another mouse did drop in the tank. So we actually got one mouse down there in ye old swimming hole. And it didn't reset when they dropped down. It wasn't until a rat stepped on the lever that the door went back up. So it's not a perfect mouse trap, but it sure is fun and we did catch a mouse. Now I don't want the mouse we caught to go to waste, so I'm going to feed it to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. Well, the only animal that walked by was a coyote. I didn't see it on film eat the mouse, but the mouse was gone, so I'm assuming it walked by and gobbled it down when the cameras weren't on. It came by at nighttime and in the daytime. You don't usually see them in the daytime, so that was fun footage. Overall, Ron's better mouse trap is more folk art. I'm going to put it in the mouse trap collection. It's going to sit there, but it's not the best mouse trap. It needs some refinements. It needs to be more sensitive. Some of the commercial ones made out of metal are very precise and they work so well. This one's more of a toy, but it did work. We did catch a mouse with it. And it's just another example of people having fun making devices for catching mice. On this channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.